Yes, yeah, sir. Atlanta's number one ball station. It's album seven nine. Get dirty. J. Nick's the flies. Got a radio man trapping out the trap house. You know what the hell going on, right? <laughs> Let's be clear. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to go to Chat Town for a little second. You know what I'm saying? I got my boy Young Polo checking in. What's up, my boy? What's going on, my boy? So tell me about growing up in Chat Town, man. Tennessee, Tennessee. Man, shh. Growing up in Chat, man, it's, it's, shh. it's rough out there. It's rough, but, man, you, you know, I love my city to death, though. There's a lot of stuff going on out there, but I support my city. They support me. And, you know. Yeah, I be turning shit up in Chat Town. Shh. I've been to Chat Town before. Yeah. It ain't, it ain't no joke. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just as far as even even with like even in the streets. You know what I'm saying? There's some yeah. gangsters out there. Yeah, it's like yeah, it ain't it's some real gangsters out there, but shoot, as far as the city, like, yeah, Chat Town, yeah. I love my city though. Yeah. Definitely got the freaks out there. Oh, Shout out to the freaks in Chat Town. You know I'm gonna talk yeah, about that. They got them freaks though. Well, I'm telling you, man. I've been out there before now. I'm telling you, man. Like, no Come on, think of the snicker. So so tell me about growing up, like brother and sister, cousins, what's up? I mean, I mean, of course, you got family, but you grew up with your parents? or Yeah, what? my mom and my daddy. You know, okay. my daddy used to be famous back in the day. Okay. Real tight, if you know what real tight is. Okay, yeah. The four-man group. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, really him, he got me into music. And, like, got me into music. Like, I started making beats. Then, like, later on in life, I grew up just started rapping. So, let me say, so your daddy was in the group? Yeah. So, you got you got roots in this? Yeah. So, what you learn from him as far as, like, the business? Because the business can be kind of rough. Shoot, I mean, like, as far as what they done went through with their business, I don't know what they went through, but as far as just him just coming to the house and just getting, grabbing, a, um, buying a studio and recording people and making beats, mm. I looked up to him and just started doing it. Mm. Like, and then later on, I just started getting big with the beats in the city. Everybody used to mess with me in the city on the beats, and I used to record, mm. but when I moved out of town, I just end up start rapping. Like, so, so you were a producer first? Yeah, I was a producer first, now I'm a rapper. So now you produce all your own stuff? Mm, my first mixtape, I produced my whole mixtape, but mm. now I, it's like I want to switch up my style a little bit and fuck, fuck with other people. Right, right, Because right. you can get all the money in that producing and rapping now. Yeah. Come on now, let's talk about it. Yeah, yeah. What them checks looking like? You said, what, what we them, said, what them, checks? Them production checks like, them I producer mean, checks. I mean, like, see, when I, used to, when I used to sell beats, like, I used to, I used to just do shit, I used to do stuff out the streets, mm. like, like just said like a hundred dollars at least and okay. like a thousand dollars exclusive. Okay. For an exclusive beat. So what was that was that I mean what what made you love like what made you decide to start rapping though? You know what I'm saying? Considering like just being successful as far as production, like what made you start rapping like shit? You I know? feel like I feel like once I moved out of town, like I ain't like when I when I moved out of my mom and dad house. It's like I know the, I just it ended a real life. Mm. Like because I'm not living with them and I got my own responsibilities now. Mm. So it's like all the stuff I done went through as far as then and then back back, back then. I just just got in the music. I just got in the studio. Just started rapping. What's one of the things that you hate about the industry as far as like that you that you realize coming up? I mean, because you know it's a lot of fake snakes out here. I mean, as far as the industry coming up, like. Like you, you, as far as like the music, me like just I mean, you know, you, you, I know you didn't grant grant across some fuck ass DJs. You know what I'm saying? Fuck ass promoter. I ain't gonna lie, man. Like as far as me doing what I'm trying to do to my music, mm. I done ran through scammers and all that. Like, mm. like I done met up with DJs that yeah, you know, they be on they be on the bull sometimes. But sometimes when you keep going and keep going, you can meet the right people. Mm. You can meet the right connects. So as far as building my music up, like you gonna go through that. Like, right. but sometimes you know some people be like. That'll make some people give up going through that too. Like scammers are bull, bull, bull jive DJs and just any, engineers are just, you feel me, anything like, but you gotta keep going. So what made you decide to keep going? Cause I, like I said, it is easier to give up because it's sometimes you just work, 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 and you're not seeing the fruits of your labor. And it's a lot of money that has to be invested I'm tell, in I'm gonna music, tell you man. what kept me going. Like when I came out my first mixtape, you know, everybody used to be like, it was like half people like, nah. Just stick to beats. Mm. And you know, some people are like, yeah, you keep going, you might can you might have potential. But me, I got passion for it. Like, mm. I got passion for music. So you okay, know me, no. I'm gonna keep going regardless. So with that being said, like, once I kept rapping, it's like I be in the studio three, four times a, a week. Mm. You feel me? Like at least making at least a mixtape a week. Right. Or try. Like the least is like five, six songs. Mm. So with that being said, like as far as me keep building, like keep going to the studio and trying to build my sound, I got an engi- engineer that's helping me. Shout out to cousins, mm. you know, I got an engineer that's helping me and helping me build my sound, and you know, he produced my beats too. So, like since I got him on my side, it's like we a team with him, he just helped me build my sound. Okay, as far as me going to the studio every day. Let's be clear. Yep. Let's talk about this this, this album. Heard it sliding. See, let's. Be- I didn't get a chance to sit all the way with it, but. 
Heard that thing slide and heard some good good things about this this, this tape now. Yeah, Talk to me about it. Yeah, let, let me be clear. Really based off just let me be clear about myself. Just a lot, a lot about me. I'm just facing like stating facts more about me and my songs and what I done went through as far as you feel me. The pain, mm. the female, what I done went through with females mm. and you feel me like me just money getting money. Just talk about that. Talk about everything. You feel me? I'm versatile. So, so give me, give me the top three songs besides the single. I know the single "Young Rich and Paid" sliding. Similar yeah. to you on that. I say, um, give me five songs like that you gotta listen to. Like, like if people want to be a fan of yours, like give me them, that, them five songs. Like you gotta listen. I to say, me. just on, on the mixtape. On the mixtape or, or even five say, songs you gotta to, listen to to just catch yeah, up. Yeah, number on. one, "Young Rich and Paid." Mm -hmm. Two. I'm gonna tell you my favorites. Um, two, I say, let me be clear. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a mixtape ninety two, but it's a song called "Let Me Be Clear." It's a pain okay. song. Like, let me be, let me be clear. Um, talk, talk my shit. Mm -hmm. Listen to that. Lean Sipper. and the fifth song, I say, I like Everlasting. That's the last. That's the last song I'm gonna take. Right, that's one this, of my favorites. This on this tape. So, okay, so let's let, let's go back. Yeah. What I gotta listen to. To, to to just catch up on your on, on your on your motion. I say I say one of my top songs right now everybody like Dirty Kitchen. Mm. It's on YouTube right now, and it's and it's um it's on every platform too. So video out and the song got on every platform as a single. Mm. So I mean I mean how many uh, videos you shooting for this tape? This I say see what I done talked to my manager about. I was I got so many songs in mm. about like like I said I go to the studio almost the three four times a week. You feel me? So I got so many songs. It's like I drop one. I drop one video off the tape, but it's like when I make a new one, I'm trying to make like come out with new songs because mm. they already hearing it. But shoot, like like I said, I I want them to hear new new songs. Mm. Like I got I got too many. Come on now, working, working. Young Polo checking in, Chat Town representative. You know what yep, I'm saying? Let me yep. know your Instagram. My Instagram, um, Y S M underscore Y U N G P O L O. Mm. Okay, let them know how how to get in contact with you. You know what I'm saying for shows and them features and everything like that. It just hit up my manager, AK Filming on IG, um, AK F I L M I N G, and then he'll get just he'll wrap it up with you and just let you know. Come on, now you been moving around the city. What you like about Atlanta? You been to strip clubs yet? Yeah, I don't man. Y'all go to strip club every time I come down. Come on, man. What's your favorite Got strip to. club, man? What, what club you be going to? I say one of my main clubs. One of my main strip clubs, Pinos. You know they okay. like they like me out there. Five dollar dances, boy. <laughs> Five dollar dances. <laughs> on, stop what? Do you feel like you get a deal when you get on that thing, man? You to get a deal? Hell yeah, I oh, be feeling man. like what? Five no, they, they, want, they, they want my money. They want my money. No, they as soon as they see me, they be like, they want everything. They like, try to, they, oh, you done throwing money? Let's throw some more money. Like, man, I ain't been throwing everything yeah, in my pocket. Off, you know? Come on, Pinos. <laughs> hey, hey, young Polo say we going to Pinos, man. We going to Pinos. Hey, we going to see what's going on. It's <laughs> <laughs> going down, man. Shout out to my boy, young Polo, man. Trap house booming. You know what's yes, popping, man. Follow my boy. You dig? Let's go.